Thank you, Madam President, and I want to thank Councilor Edwards for co-sponsoring this order. Uh, the purpose of this hearing is to give the Office of Veterans Services and related departments, including state and federal officials, active in helping veterans, an opportunity to provide an update and raise awareness on all the great work they, that they are doing in support of veterans and military families in Boston. As a disabled vet veteran, I know the work done every day by our city, from Operation Thank a Vet to the Way Home program, helping serve many veterans, disabled veterans, women veterans, and homeless veterans. Through this, through this hearing, I hope to make the public and veterans and military families more aware of the services available to all who served. I come from a family and community that has always valued service to our country and equally as important helping military families. From the South Boston Vietnam veterans that built the first memorial in the country to our fallen brothers, their service will always be re remembered. On this, most on this recent Memorial Day, I was honored to join Mayor Walsh at the Puerto Rican Veterans Memorial in the South End and at the Chinese American Veterans um, in Chinatown as well. We have seen every community and neighborhood throughout Boston stand up and serve our country, every ethnic group, race, religion, color, sexual orientation, young people, OEF veterans, younger veterans, Perkins Post, the McKeon Post, student veterans. I have also been proud to attend recent veter veterans events at the Carter Post on Blue Hill Avenue with African American veterans, Latino veterans, Asian veterans. All have earned our respect. As a society, let us ensure that we remember and honor them. I'm also proud of the work of Commissioner Sterling and Mayor Walsh. They have worked hard for all veterans and military families, ensuring they are treated with dignity and respect, and um, just asking for your support on this hearing. Thank you, Madam President.